hello there beautiful people welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well today i'm gonna be a real life booty guru booty guru uh it feels kind of crazy because i feel like i've not done an actual like tutorial or review for the longest time but i will tell you now that queen rihanna has brought me out of hiding yep she has come out with some new goodies and i actually received these in pr and i was like okay okay what am i gonna do with these and i was like okay let me bring these out let me dust off the cobwebs of you know beauty reviewing situation because i've forgotten literally how to do it and we're gonna have a look at what we've got and if you're wondering why i look like a flat pie head it's because i'm gonna put on bronzer blush and everything to just bring a face together so new in from Fenty Beauty are the new cream blushes. Cheeks out, freestyle cream blush and bronzer. Fresh wash of color, effortless blending, light as air, sweat resistant, 10 sheer shades for all. Now, I feel like for the longest time, ooh, look at this. Whoa, this is new. This does, this is body lava. This is a new body lava. Okay. Now I'm going to be very honest with you. I wear one shade of blush. I did not know there were up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blush shades that were really necessary. Really? Do we really need them? However, as they are sheer, I'm assuming that these are going to be really, really flattering. And I feel like these are like the new trend. Like people are putting blush everywhere. Like I've seen people with blush on the tips of their noses. I thought I'd leave that to Doja Cat, but maybe that'll be me today. Who knows? And then it looks like it also has some bonus goodies. This is a diamond veil, diamond bomb, candy cognac. Woo! 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 Wowie, 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 wowie. I also have the diamond ball one that is fantastic as well, but this is, woo! beautiful so i want you guys to let me know in the comments how many of you guys are blush wearers just be honest do you wear blush regularly do you want to wear it more often or you're like no let's leave that to the aunties let me know i do find that blush can take this pie head into like you know more like rather than a pie it could be an apple crumble and we like apple crumble so you know that's not a diss or anything not that i'm gonna be crumbly but i want to go from a dry pie to something with dimension that's what blush does to me. And I've also got the face brush as well. So if I watch Riri, let's see what she did. Okay, okay. What are we doing today? <laughs> this is one of my favorite looks and I've been rocking this for a minute now. No makeup, makeup look. We're gonna show you how to accomplish that look starting with a whole little family right here. Up your foundation, your powder, whatever you have on your base. You can use this on your eyes, your cheeks, your forehead. So I'm gonna start on the lower end here. I'm using my bronzer brush here because what works for the dry formula, it also works for our cream bronzer. So you can go right in like that. Okay, so first up we have got the Cheeks Out Cream Bronzers. And in that video, that's the first thing that Rihanna put on. I think that Rihanna is using the shade um, Teddy. Um, and there are three really, really chocolatey shades right here. Can we just take a closer look? This is chocolate right here. This is Teddy right here. And right here we have Toffee Tees. Wow, these are great. I would wear both, totally. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these. And these are meant to be able to be super blendable, super creamy, blend into your foundation and your powder without looking cakey. And I'll be honest with you guys, I was not a bronzer wearer, but I do understand the magical power of bronzer nowadays. It can transform the pie into something fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead with Teddy. Teddy is Rihanna shade, so that's not my shade, but let's see what that looks like on. Nothing, but that's fine. I didn't expect to see very much on that as that's not my shade, but I'm gonna go ahead with chocolate, which is the next deeper shade. Okay, and there we have chocolate. Hmm. Okay, I see it there. I see it there, but it's not giving me the warmth I normally like. If I swatch that on my hand, it looks really nice and warm. And then I can swatch it here as well. That's the, the darker one. I'm gonna use my fingers and to see if I get a bit more of a... Okay, there we go. I actually feel like it's nicer to apply with the fingers. It's giving me a contour, which is great, but it's not giving me 
the warmth that I would normally like from a bronzer. When I use a bronzer, I want it to make me look warm and rich. Does that make any sense? Maybe I'll show you that the, on the other side, what I normally like from a bronzer. Something a bit off with this shade to me. Is it just me? Yeah, do you know what? It's nice, it's not as warm as I would go for. I can even compare it to Mocha Mummy, which gets a lot of use. It's a powder, but you'll see that this is like, I'll compare it on my forehead. Like, it's like completely different. The cream bronzer is like a gray and this is more like a red, but I prefer this to warm me up. But even looking at that, it's looking hella red. This isn't going to go the way I thought. <laughs> That's Mocha Mummy, and let me show you guys um, Coco Naughty as well. But I will tell you that I prefer the ready look to this look. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> right, I'm gonna just go, go in with Coco Naughty on this side, and then I'm gonna go back in with chocolate on this side, and we can compare which bronzer do we like more. Okay, actually, actually, oh, oh. I'm kind of liking that. It's very different to my normal bronzers. So as you can see, when I use a bronzer, and you know, these are the other Fenty bronzers, it adds more warmth to my face, warmth and dimension. This one is not giving me warmth. It's giving me contour, but it's creamy and it's, it's nice. Like it doesn't give me that richness I like, you know, you know? But it's it's there and it's nice. Look at this. It's it's pretty. It's pretty. But it's definitely more of a contoury colour than a than a colour that warms you up, you know? But I feel like I could probably combine the two and get something like flawless. To get to my forehead, I really go in because I have a big forehead, so I have to go for it. You know what I'm saying? And it's great for reducing the forehead. Right, let's just blend it together and see if we can make a match in heaven. I'm looking Tropicana, I'm looking Tropicana. I'm gonna be honest, I definitely still prefer Coco Naughty as a bronzer um, because it's just more warm. I'm happy to use this as a contour, cream contour, love it, and a light cream contour, but as a bronzer, it doesn't give me that bronziness that I would love because it's a bit more of the cool tone, but I do think it depends on like, you know, your skin tone. And so for me, I know that this shade here, Toffee Tees, is probably a little bit too dark for me. And I don't mind going in and giving a little swatch for those of you who wanna see. But actually, do I like this more as a bronzer? I feel like this has got more warmth in it, you know, as well. I don't know why, I like Toffee Tees. It's a bit strong, but I like it. Finish, I like. I like the finish. I actually like to apply it with my fingers. I feel like it blends really well. Unfortunately for me, chocolate doesn't have on my face the warmth I really, really want. And for some reason, I actually preferred Toffee Tees because of the warmth, but it was a touch dark. I think that these would be great as contours, you know? I think these would be a great, great contour. These, to me, are contour colors versus bronzy colors. For me, the cream ones, unless there's other shades, I'm not sure. So they might do a shade extension read. I actually know that they did that with the bronzers as well. So that's what I'll say about that. But let's go ahead and try the blushes. What I do accept is that not every brush is gonna look good on me and that's okay. We're just gonna have fun. And so we're gonna go in with this shade here. This shade here is called Petal Poppin'. I've just watched this shade and it's called Summertime Wine. Summertime in a... Yay! This shade here. And you know what? You're not even getting the full extent of this shade. It's called Strawberry Drip. It is virtually a neon. I don't know if you can see it. The camera's not picking up. It's like a neon-y color. This shade here. Has anyone ever worn a blush shade like this? Bright orange, interesting. I swear that shade's gonna look good. Like there's always a random shade that you think won't look good and then it looks good. Oh! Bikini Martini. This is a neon pink and the camera doesn't know what to do with it, but yeah, this is a neon pink, guys. This color here, I'm gonna swatch this first because I don't know what, why, why this is here, but I know that there are gonna be girls who know how to make looks with these. This shade is called Daiquiri Drip. 
This shade is called Rose Latte. What's crazy to me is I feel like this would have been nicer as the bronzer. Very weird. And this shade here is called Crushing on Cupid. Okay, so those are all the shades. Some of them are definitely like super wearable, not the ones I've just picked up. And then some to me are just interesting, like what am I meant to do with that? So I'm gonna try the more interesting ones first because I found often you can be pleasantly surprised by colors you didn't think you could wear. So I'm gonna go in with Fuego Flush. Ooh, this to me is more like a highlight in a really nice way. I love how that looks. Again, I was seeing like bright luminous orange, but that's not what it's giving me at all at all it's actually giving me like a lift in my cheekbones like look at this mm, those cheekbones they look so sharp it's giving my cheekbones a beautiful lift <sighs> mind is blown i feel like i'm looking at these like these aren't a blush they're another kind of facial product and they just put it in the blush category that isn't a blush this is not the old school definition of a blush but whatever it is I like it, I love what it's done. Look at these, it's like a, I feel like this is a really nice highlighter. Okay, I'm surprised. Let me go in with that purple, cause that purple also had me thrown. Right, let's see what this is going to do. I bet I'm going to be pleasantly surprised. Why do I love it? I feel like number one, I've lost 10 stones by just applying that other blush. And I flipping love this. Oh, I really love this. Why do I really love this? Oh my gosh. I felt like I was about to give like Grace Jones, right? This is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. It's kind of like disappeared into nothing. I'm slightly wondering if it's slightly making me look like greasy on the cheek. I'm really confused. I don't like, I don't know what's going on. The color's there. Right, colours there. It looks like a really nice iridescent blush, but then now I think my cheeks look kind of greasy. What's going on? You guys can tell me. Does this look like a really nice healthy blush glow, or does it look like grease? I don't think so. I've got a nice glow, and obviously I've got that other highlight colour underneath. I wouldn't layer these too much, as you might like rub off the other colour before, and it might get a little bit too, too moist. Oh, I hate the word moist hate the word moist, but you guys know what I mean. Right, I'm gonna take off and put on some other colors. So I've just had to redo basically the whole of the lower part of my face. So if it looks a bit crazy, that's okay. Okay, we've done the orange and the purple. Now we're gonna go with the bright red. Now this shade here is called Bikini Martini and she's Barbie. This is very Barbie girl. I'm gonna put less on than the last time cause I do think it can, take off a little of your makeup on the layer below. Do you know what's great about these? I think that even if you feel a bit scared of the color, I think for most people, because it's so sheer, it can suit a lot of different skin tones. I think this will look good on everybody. Colors you think you can't wear, you can wear. They do have this kind of shiny look, not greasy, but glisteny, glisteny. Now if you're of the oily, elk i'm not sure if you might want that look right this shade is called crushing on cupid you might want more pigment but again these are sheer blushes do you know i feel like i want to do the nose tip blush situation am i would rudolph this is bikini martini here then this is crushing on cupid i don't know if they look very different on camera bikini martini crushing on Cupid. They're definitely dewy. And actually, I get it, like for summer, you want this like look, you know? This one definitely shows up on me more. This one is there, is visible, but isn't as pigmented as I would need. Feeling sad, I'm feeling a little bit defeated right now. Just, just a little bit. Now let's go for, go for this daiquiri shade, which is a bright, luminous red that I wouldn't normally think could ever suit me. But again, I'm not gonna be surprised if this probably looks quite nice. Uh, oh, that's, that's, that's a lot. So yeah, the level of pigment on them is very different. This is the lot. We're gonna actually brush that in. 
Right, so I get these products now, I get it. Go for the ones that are stronger in pigment and then brush them through. As a woman of color, or as someone as dark skin as me, some of these lighter ones, they're not gonna hit. But the really like bright ones that you're like, oh my God, this is really ridiculous as a sheer color is the one that's gonna pop on my skin. Seeing how that looks really nice on. It's really weird because I feel like these are the kind of blushes and products that have to be demonstrated. Like you have to see it on to know what you're gonna like. So I really like that. I really like that. At first I was like, oh my God, this is bright. And then you blend it in and it looks nice. And it gives me that like dewy look without looking greasy where some of the other ones, you know, hit by a frying pan. But this one, no, I'm hitting it. I wouldn't normally go for a more red color. Normally I like ones that are a bit more deep purple or deep berry. So I have a feeling that this one, Summertime Wine, is going to look really good. But look at this, I do love the glow I have with these blushes and it's actually stunning actually. That one's stunning. It gives you that like unhealthy glow, I love that. My cheekbones are gonna be so firm after this. Back to pie, great. Let us go in with Summertime Wine. I love using my fingers on these. Oh, Summertime Wine's pinkier than I thought. But I have good hopes for this, high hopes for this. This is how the aunties used to wear blusher. Aunties would walk in looking like clowns. You'd be like, hi auntie. Oh, pretty, I do like this, I do like this. Could it do with some dulling down? Yes, it could. I feel like for me, cream blush is something that's gonna take some getting used to, but I do know that people do like this more dewy appearance. It's much more natural. It's much more youthful, so I totally get it, but I don't feel like I look like Rihanna. There we go. That is blended in lovely. I like it. Summertime Wine, I think, is my favorite so far. I'm interested in trying out this shade, Rose Latte. Gonna go round. I have high hopes for you, Rose Latte. Having looked at Rose Latte, for my skin tone, it's a really nice, um, more natural blush. That's what that is. And actually, as I said, I feel like this could be like a bronzer. Yeah, I think it could be. I think this is a really nice wearable blush if you are afraid of blush as well. Again, you're gonna get this kind of dewy, summery, glowy, moisturized, drink my water, my, my business look, okay? Versus, you know, <laughs> matte beat for the guards look. But I, I like that. What do you think? Do you guys see it? And I could build the pigment up if I wanted to. But I'm gonna go in now with Strawberry Drip, which is kind of like a bright neon-y pink as well, that I have high hopes for. I like this. I do like pinky colors and neon colors, because I do want to have my like black Barbie moments, you know? I love that you can build these up. These are really nice for that. Do I have my Barbie moment? Do you guys like this as a look? I feel like I wanna add just a little bit of powder on top, and I don't know if that's a weird thing to do, but it just makes me feel, I'm using my Laura Mercier, it makes me feel a little less greasy. We like things to look like skin, we like them to look natural. Not greasy. Who likes grease? Not I. You know that, That's I don't play that. We just do dewy. The Rihanna did say glowy, not greasy. I don't know if that applies for all of us. Right, for some reason, because the rest of my face is matte and then my cheeks are a bit shiny, I feel like it looks a bit odd. So I'm gonna go ahead and mist my face with a little bit more setting spray. This is the Fenty Beauty setting spray, which is absolutely amazing. It's more like a mist than like wetness. Oh, there we go. Oh, and actually, do you know what? Let's put this on because we're here now. We are basically going to glow from here to all of our vacation destinations when we're free and out of quarantine. Okay guys, so this is it. End result for our no makeup makeup look for our summer fancy face. Why do I love this? Why do I love this moisture look I have going on? Okay, so I've done a few little tweaks, added a little eyeliner, and try to refresh a little bit. And here is my finished, very basic look, to be honest. Very basic, we're in quarantine, I'm not doing full bone beads, it's okay. However, what do I think about the new creamy collection? I feel like, if you've got dry skin and you like creamier finishes, it's amazing. But I know there's a particular demographic that really, really like these kind of 
kissy, these um, soft textures. I do feel like the pigmented ones are great and you have to try them to know if you like them. So they definitely need to be demonstrated versus if you just look at them, you're like, why would I wear a red blush? But actually it's not red blush. It it, it almost like blends in with your skin tone to be a bit more flattering. I will say that if you're not used to the more like wet look or dewier look, and or if you don't like that look, I don't know if it's gonna be for you. But if you're willing to explore, you know, switching up your makeup and doing something that's a little bit more natural and more soft and more flattering and more youthful, then it's an option. Regarding to the cream bronzers, I didn't love the shade that I had. I feel like um, the toffee shade looks so amazing on Rihanna and I think there may be more shades of the shades that I have. I wasn't a huge fan, but I'm not against the creamy texture and I love how blendable they are and buildable they are. So those are my true and honest thoughts. I'm not like head over heels, but I would use consistently and I know that I like summer wine like a lot. That would be like my go-to blush right about now, so yeah. That's it. I feel like a real reviewer. It's been a hot minute. I think I'm gonna do more of these. If there are any other beauty items or lifestyle items or product items you want me to review, let me know and I will be on it. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.